An air gun that shoots 1400 freaking rounds per minute. Check this thing out though, dude. It is solid. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar. Back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are throwing knives, <laughs> flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because you have all. What we're gonna be doing is I have this gigantic Mundo Monstroso Boxo. Okay, you know the shape, Parker? Have you seen the shape before? Rectangular. <laughs> yes. Very rectangular. On this side, it kind of looks more potatoular. Just long ways rectangular. It looks like potatoular. Look at this. It looks like a lumpy potato. It's so plump. This box actually came from a friend of the channel. As you guys know, Elite OP Knives on screen. Not that on screen, damn. <laughs> on screen, they have been working with the channel for a long time. They send mystery boxes just like this, filled with all types of stuff. But the contact that I talked to, his name is Kevin. The guy is super, super nice. Shout out to him. He is a great dude. Super, super generous. So thank you for sending this out. But you want something special about this box in particular? Um, recycled? It's recyclable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but not besides it being recyclable and eco friendly -able. it is made from. All right, everything in this box is based off of a range of weapons. So that means throwing knives, I don't know, arrows, who knows, all ranges of anything where you can be far and hurt something. <laughs> so this box right here is completely filled with range weapon. And as you guys know, I am a knife thrower. I consider myself almost damn near a professional. The only thing not professional is oh, not professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that doesn't make me a doctor is like what? A stupid uh, uh, piece of paper? Yeah, a PhD. A little, uh, <laughs> a little degree? Yeah, I got a scalpel knife, okay? I can do what I need to do. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys know, I like throwing a knife. All that kind of stuff so this box is essentially made for me and if you guys watch the last elite op knives they got all types of insane sick camo items and really honestly some stuff you cannot really find anywhere else so again guys links to elite op knives will be down below make sure you guys go check them out go check the website out if you guys are looking for those butterfly knife trainers they have those literally anything you see in this box you should be able to find there so go check it out down below but let's get in to the elite op knife man this isn't necessary. <laughs> Just really hope Milwaukee will sponsor one. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna pop this thing open right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it open and just do one big look, okay? And just see how many things are in this box. This thing is stuck. All right, so let's just do a quick glance and see what we got inside here. Whoa, that is a lot of oh stuff. Just blur it, blur it. Dude. Yes. That was a, a ton of stuff. That is an ass load of stuff. That's actually a unit. Yes, oh, no, yes. No, butt load. That's an actual unit. Not from where I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much stuff in here, guys. I don't even know where to start. I don't know if I just grabbed something. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of the perfect point. Oh, Some of my favorite throwing knives are like the perfect point throwing knives. They're pretty solid built. They're not over the top expensive and always they look freaking sick. So what we should do, I think we'll just grab a big box of the freaking throwing knives out and we'll go through them and just can I check them all out? Because I don't even know what to start with without grabbing something that I did, that I want to make me finish this with. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Elite OP Knives, guys. I don't even know. There's thousands of dollars of weapons inside this box right here, guys. This is far, far, far going to outdo this episode. So if you guys want to see a, like a series of this or just keep digging into this box, let me know down below. But let me just grab out a stack and we'll go through that. Oh my god. <laughs> These are all throwing knives. Like individual throwing knives? <laughs> yes, yes they are. This is like six, six different throwing knives. I am always looking out for throwing knives because I go through them pretty fast. So now that we have six different ones, let's check them out. But usually with Elite OP knives, usually they're all different, different style throwing knives. Let's see what these ones look like. And maybe we'll try some of them out outside. All right, so let's pull the first one out. Let's check these out. Oh, oh dude, I love the freaking camos. Cause it's almost like, it's almost like all the work of hydro dipping, but not of any of the ex over the exposed sun time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So right here we got the blue ones right there. Okay, Ooh. we got the dragon thing right there, the Jackie Chan adventures throwing knife. That's so sick. All right, so we got those right there. But what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna get all of them out, and we'll go outside and test all of them. You're gonna see every single knife here thrown. Let's check out all the designs first. All right, so there's all three blue ones right there. What do we call that? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> all right, next one out. Let's check it out. Ooh, we got some freaking sharp as a hell. Those are some sharp. Freaking Uchiha freaking tonight, dude. Okay, that's clean. Damn, that is like some of the sharpest can- If I touch myself, you'll just- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we got the blue freaking. I'm gonna call these the freaking uh, the Uchiha Sasuke Season One Kanai. All right, we got those right there. Oh, these ones feel heavy, dude. Oh, damn. Oh my God. That is sick, dude. This freaking like, what is it like brush? That's like a cast iron throwing knife. That is freaking dope. All right, so that one only comes with two, just because they're so freaking beefy. But oh my God, like I swear, if you're looking for throwing knives, like you don't even get this much variation on Amazon. <laughs> All right, let's check out these next ones. See, what we got. Oh, we got the pink. The pink. Oh yeah, the pink that sinks in the pink. <laughs> Dude, these look almost exactly like when freaking I tried to hydro dip pink and I. That looks like what we tried to do, yeah. Yeah, yeah try, dude, exactly. Keyword try. But these are freaking fresh, dude. I mean, man, you see three of these stuck anywhere. You're like, oh my god, the Charlie's Angels are somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have already four out here. What is your favorite so far? I got a lot of pink ones are just kind of striking me. I got the, let's say the pink ones are for me, these two right here. So I feel like you can throw those for a long time. And there's just the, like, they're really heavy. They're super wide. Yeah. And for me, someone who misses a lot. <laughs> there's just, a lot of surface. <laughs> the last surface area. Something will damage them. Okay, here we go. The next one's out. I am the user because I am extra, extra happy because every single time these Elite OP knives come in for throwing knives, I use all of them. Like, they all go to use. So, let's see what these next ones are right here. We got... It's a little thinner in the back here. Oh, okay. These are like some long sinkers, dude. Here is these three right here. Let's do the last scan. And then we're going to pull up the last one. And then you guys comment down below which you thought was the best throwing knife. All right, so that's the last one. Number six. Let's check them out. Out. Oh, well, this there is the oh, color I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> These are like the blue ones, but red and black. Now, this is the real Uchiha colors. This is the Sharingan colors right here. Oh, I was about to say, well, he just claims any color. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know your favorites down below. I gotta say my favorite are these right here. These little I red mean, the ones. red ones are sick. I actually, <laughs> I think I like the pink ones because it's like they're bigger and they have the handle. They have the grip. We're gonna go outside, guys. We're gonna test out all the throwing knives. Probably just gonna throw one of each, but then probably go and do like a triple throw with these guys for sure but then we gotta get back in this box guys there are some things in there that are I, I was unforeseeable gonna, i was gonna say barely legal oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we have all the knives right here and i'm introducing you to target his name is booty cheese all right what booty cheese i even introduced him yet because like what what is that uh, there's booty cheese booty cheese show booty cheese all right, <laughs> so we the booty cheese. And how we're gonna be doing this is we're trying to get all six of the brand new knives to stick into booty cheese. Let's see how it works. All right, I'm gonna start off with the biggest one. Let's go with that one. Three, two, one. Booty cheese right in between the eyes. Oh! <laughs> all right, just keep it moving. Got it, you got it. His eye! Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more. Oh. There we go. So that is all the knives right there. Let's take a look at what all of them look like inside of the target. Damn, booty cheese. All right, let's pull all of these out. Now we're going to try to do some little stunts with these throwing knives. Just because we have so many variations of different style of throwing knives, I think we can try a few different things here. The name's Cheese. Booty Cheese. So how are you doing over there? What? What? Nothing. Talk to my husband. Oh, what? All right, so we're going to go with the three knives right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> nice. Ooh. This one went in sideways. This one went in deep, but look at how deep this one went in. <laughs> It went in all the way. All right, we got that done. Let's try one more thing out of these throwing knives. I think we can go back inside and get back into that box and see what other ranged gears inside of there. Okay, so the next thing is I saw this big wide knife here and I instantly thought I might be able to do something with this. So I watched a video online of this guy who threw a water bottle in the air and he hit it with a throwing knife, right? Okay. You know, I can do that. It's pretty sick, right? But I instantly thought, what if you could bottle flip better than me <laughs> and then hit the target before it hits okay we'll hold it up is that sick absolutely yes but let's just see if you got what it takes i think that i have what it takes <laughs> <laughs> all right so none of these things that you see me do today are something you should do at home <laughs> but here we go let's try it oh i got the bottle got it that was <laughs> The first try. That was first try. I wanted to do the look a little different though. We'll try it again. Oh! No! <laughs> 
Dude. I did it again, right there. And that time I held it up. That is technically a standing bottle flip. It did exactly what I wanted it to. I was hoping that it would kind of be like a bad bottle flip and then I could save it like a kickstand. It literally, if you watch the slow-mo, it was like a kickstand teleported there to hold it. And that was with a simple skinny bottle of smart water. All right, so that was all the throwing knives. We're gonna go inside and see what is else inside that box. Also, there's my neighbor over there. Wait, we just listen for it. It's like super bad gas. Oh yeah. Oh they got, my goodness. They called it they called it the tuba guts. <laughs> that's not the tuba guts, that's the tuba smuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just smutty nasty. Okay, well I think they're doing construction either that or she has some gastritis issues. Alright guys, so we're getting back in here, but shout out to Kevin though, because I really appreciate this. This is blowing my mind. And there's some other stuff coming from him as well that you guys will see. But we're just gonna grab another big group of stuff out of here. And just pull it out and just stack. I'm just gonna keep stacking things. I feel like I'm going to the grocery store. And just pull it all out and we'll go from there let's take a look and see what we got over here dude m48 an m48 product in here but i only know one product that can fit in this box I know nothing. I know it all. <laughs> Check this out. This is the M48 Tactical Style Watch. <laughs> what? There is an M48 watch, and they are pretty pricey to add on top of that. What? Top, get your G-Shock. Yo, oh, I got an M48 watch. <laughs> I didn't even think that's in the realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah, so you know like a G-Shock though, those are like a kind of watch, usually sports, sports durability watches. They made a sports tactical watch something that is battle ready and ready to take any kind of hits it is waterproof it is water resistant water propellant <laughs> <laughs> dude that thing is oh my, nice that is clean that is a nice ass watch wow i thought it left gold <laughs> on your hands no, that's it's the so reflection clean. off of this man that's got gold <laughs> and they are not cheap so thank you so much kevin you know your watch is secure and there's two things to hold it on <laughs> All right, I'm gonna look at the features in this watch, but let's go to the next items as well. Check out the nice though. <laughs> Man, it makes anybody's forearm look bigger. I'm gonna wear this, dude. If I have a wallet by Coolstone M48 watch, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so here it is. One last look, the M48 watch. That thing is so freaking clean. And the big thing about this thing is impact resistance. So that means all that weapon swinging I do, all the slamming my wrist takes, this thing is completely impact resistant. And not just that, 50 meters water resistant. That sounds like a lot. But That's 116 feet. 164. That's 160. 64 feet! <laughs> Let's open up these next items right here, guys. Again, this box, I mean, usually you'll see like three, four freaking weapons we get to go through, but this box is so much stuff, we're going through like five at once. Damn! <laughs> that's a knife. That guy would be like, no, that's a knife. <laughs> oh my god, that's a knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what do you even use that for? Heavy ass flips. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, use that. Good target for relative size. Megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> this is like if you're trying to, like, you know, cut a little spur off your nails or your entire arm. <laughs> all right, that is sick. Let's see these other ones right here. These are all perfect points. So these should God. be throwing items. I don't It's like Santa threw up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like Santa met the arms dealer at the black market. <laughs> all right, guys. Now we're opening these four perfect point boxes. I'm extremely excited to open these because usually that means that it's some kind of throwing knife, but if it's square like this. There ain't no knife in that joint. Let's see what we got in here. Yes! Okay, we got a Ooh. brand new freaking... Oh my god! That is the thickest, densest thing ever. <laughs> Go ahead and hold that, man. Look at drop your oh, hand. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that is a solid ninja star. And it's got a process. Okay. All right, next one up. We'll see what we got. Very big. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <gasps> what? Oh! Scorpion on the front, dude. And dude. the print on it. <laughs> it's a printed freaking ninja star. I have never in my life seen printed freaking ninja stars, dude. Let's see what these two big boxes left. We're gonna get out there and try all this stuff out, but holy crap. The ninja stars are what I'm the most excited about, I think, on everything because everything I you know, you guys usually see on this channel. I, I get a lot of cool stuff, but ninja stars, like, I literally cannot get. So when I get them, I'm very, very happy about them because I'm probably not gonna see them again for a while. So there we go. We got those two ninja stars. Let's see what else is in here. All right, and this one right here. Oh, yes, dude. We got some freaking steel oh. tomahawks. But, dude, like, look at the design on them. Yeah. They're so sleek. Ooh. Oh, there's two. There is two of them. Razor sharpness. Dude, that thing is <laughs> big. 
think? <laughs> there we go. So we got these in the Tomahawks, my perfect point. You guys are seeing a lot of stuff today, so make sure to smash the like button. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here, because there's way more stuff in this box that is not, I mean, some stuff I'm literally saving for another video because it's so insane. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for new year. But, oh, you know what's even cooler about this? It has a ring. Oh, so you can do stuff like that? Yep. Sick <laughs> stuff. All right, this last one right here, I am curious about. That Six. is huge. Where's that is very weird shape, too. Yeah, iPad mini case. Like. <laughs> it's like an iPad mini case or one of those old DVD cases. You oh, see everybody, yeah. believe it or not, but before 2004, everybody had one of these in their car. Yeah. Right? I didn't have a, I didn't have a car at that time, but still. Yeah, you were a child. was young. Not legal. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. Oh, oh my, my fuck. Oh my fuck. My fuck. It's oh. <laughs> My gosh, these are all incision knives, dude. Yeah, what are they, like a stiletto knife? Yes, these are all made for deep impact, but there is a whole complete set of them. These I am definitely gonna be saving on this side. If you tried out a lot of throwing knives, these I'm gonna be saving for a future video if you guys wanna see them. That is like the sickest. Oh, what do you have in your book bag, sir? Oh, everything in the world for death. <laughs> All right, this next one I knew was in here. Are you ready to see what is the world's smallest ninja stars? What? <laughs> I can't even see it. Here it is. It's still in there. <laughs> no, it's right here. Wow. This is supposed to be throwable though. I have no clue how you could throw this. They're sharp, so it's hard to throw it. But I'm gonna try and figure out how to throw these because if I like, you threw this, we lost. Oh, oh where did it go? I lost it in my kidney. <laughs> I can see it lost in someone's neck. <laughs> yeah, it's just lost. Oh, I think it. So, you know, you're, you're, sorry, you're, we can sew that up. You're just gonna live with that in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go and test out the world's smallest ninja stars and also a few of the other items here. And then we're gonna get a couple more items out of here guys and honestly i think i'm gonna have to save for the next video because there is this isn't even what 10 percent i'm looking at it right now and i, I think that's pretty accurate yeah like <laughs> maybe even five percent but ten percent is what has been entered so far so make sure you smash that like button but let's get out there all right so now we're trying out these tomahawks what we're going to be doing for these is that i've been having a lot of fun doing throwing challenges here to be honest <laughs> So what we're gonna be doing is I have two right here. I'm gonna aim for these two targets on the left with the tomahawk. Then you're probably wondering, okay, what are you gonna do with the guy in the middle? The star. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right. I have to coin slot it through these ones into that one to take all three out. But let's see what we can do. I'm gonna keep this one in my back pocket. I gotta take these guys out as well. So let's try out the tomahawks. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Dude, one more, one more. Oh! Let's go! Nice. <laughs> oh, damn, 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 dude, we got it right in there, both freaking points. Got the freaking tomahawk to burst this guy open, but we freaking did it. <laughs> All right, so now we got the world's tiniest ninja star. I have a little melon there because well, the world's tiniest melon. <laughs> yeah, the world's tiniest melon, the world's tiniest ninja star. Let's just see if it sticks. I don't even think I'm gonna get this thing to stick, but we're gonna try it. Let's get the safety glasses on. All right, so now that we got the safety glasses on, they're working. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, you didn't even throw it that hard. Yeah, it stuck. I mean, it stuck barely, but it stuck. <laughs> I tried a little harder. I don't think we can lodge that thing. Oh! <laughs> that freaking is in there, dude. So even with a tiny ninja star like this, dude, if you threw it hard enough, that's... Dude, it gets, I mean, that's a thick hide that's on that little thick, watermelon. Dude. <laughs> All right, so world's tidiest ninja star. It can work. Let's try one last, last thing. I'm just having a lot of fun with the throwing stuff, to be honest. All right, so now we're trying out this big thunder blade. All right, so what we're going to be doing here is go for a full combo. Take out left target, take out right. Then it's going to get difficult because this is a throwing base box. I'm going to turn around and try and take out the final target behind me with a throw. Now, with that's what I call the thunder from down under. Yeah, the thunder from down under. That's also what I call Taco Bell. But... <laughs> <laughs> this too is gonna be a, a heavy hit on a throw, dude. Three, two, one, go. Wow! That was crazy! <laughs> Clean! Clean! 
Yep. All right, that went pretty damn well. Let's see what else. Freaking elite OP knives. I can't say it enough. Elite OP knives, guys. Link down below. They are freaking so awesome and generous. Make sure you guys go check them out. Just in case you're tired of saying it. Elite OP knives. O OP elite knives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to test out two last items in this great, great box by Elite OP knives. Go ahead and pick one more thing. One I, get, more, I get to pick? You get to pick one more oh, thing. Sweet. I'm going to test it. We want to pick one more thing. And then I I'm gonna pick one thing. Like you do every video. <laughs> yeah, so you pick one thing. Just gonna look at me while he's picking one, all right? I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys are, make sure you smash this like button. You're looking real good. Are you wearing socks right now? I bet you are. If you're watching this while on the toilet, make sure you guys, you know, hit the like button as well. This is getting weird. All right, <laughs> all right I choose. Wow. You picked a sword so sharp. <laughs> It's through the sheet. Damn! Oh, dude. that is that is electric. It's like a lightning blade, but serrated. <laughs> there, that's your pick. Now let me make my pick. Let's see what we got here. All right, so how's this gonna work? Are you gonna hey, look into my eyes while you look, or, or you turn that way? Why? Where you going? Mitchell, play the Jurassic Park music. <sighs> no, really, what is that? It's upside down. Oh, this is a gun. <laughs> So do you remember that freaking full auto MP40 I had a long time ago? Of course I do. It was like, yeah, a little bit, yeah, just like that. And then if it wasn't doing that, it was like, yeah, yeah, it was broken. <laughs> it didn't really work very well because it was full auto, and I've been looking for a full auto air gun for so long. Elite OP knives actually snuck this in here. So our last range item is this right here. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> An air gun that shoots 1,400 freaking rounds per minute. Literally disgusting. Bruh. Yes. Bruh. Bruh. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that looks amazing. That looks like um, that looks like st the the starting weapon in MW. Do like level one class one, maybe it's an ACR or something like that. <laughs> Check this thing out, though, dude. It is solid. <laughs> Stock is completely adjustable. Keep that in extended range, just like that. You got all the tack rails. This thing is ready to go, and I'm telling you, it shoots so fast, dude. Elite OP knives just <laughs> amazes me. Elite OP knives, the only thing OP about them is those price tags. Make sure you guys go check it out down below. This is insane. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So, we're gonna go outside and test both these things out especially this guy right here I can't do that without this oh my god that thing is heavy yes you cannot do that without this <laughs> And again, for YouTube guidelines, this is an air gun. So, it is all 100% legal in California, and it is strong as hell. And even has this thing to reload it. Damn, what the hell is that? Oh, you just said it. <laughs> it's also another gun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here we go. <laughs> try it out. Should be full auto, and they also have burst and semi-auto. Which should I try? I mean, if you're gonna do it, I mean, like, you know, go full auto. Yeah, so I'll take it too. <laughs> Three, two, one. Dude, I can see the hole in the mouth. That was 25 rounds in like what, two seconds? Yeah, because as soon as, soon as it went, it was it was out. It was out. That was 25 rounds into the target instantly, and they're all lodged in there, dude. Every I thought, I thought all one. those were sweat. And not sweat. <laughs> all those, and some of those are the same holes. Okay, now we're gonna dude. try this thing out at something a little bit more active, but that quickly. Let's play it again. We have time to do that because it's so quick. <laughs> Let's play it again. Oh wow, it still was quick. That's how <laughs> fast it could load. 25 rounds in two seconds flat. Now, let's try it out something more reactive, like I said. I just wanted to try it out on old ass cheese. Booty! Cheese! 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 Booty cheese! <gasps> <laughs> My crib booty cheese. You thought you'd come around here with your cheese dairy products? Well, you're wrong, booty cheese. You take that back to where you came from. In your booty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to try that out. Well, that's stuck in the booty. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, something's stuck in the Serrated them. booty. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next thing, I'm going to be loading it up because I'm going to do the next shot. But the way this thing loads is actually amazing. I've never seen it on any other air gun I've gotten before. So this little device right here is what you use to reload it. So typically on any other air gun, you pull this slider down and then right there in that little space that's where you put your ammo so you have to hold it open load your ammo as you're doing it and that is really really annoying <laughs> yeah for a long process exactly but with this thing right here they came with it take this right here you slide it through the groove it pulls back the switch then when you get to the hole you push down and boom you're loading it dude oh my god you <laughs> press that button yes and like that it's loaded all right let's go ahead and load this thing up now that it's loaded and let's try it out all right here we go three two one Oh my 
my god. That was nothing. <laughs> you hear it hit the shield? Dude, I felt it hit me. I felt it hurt in the shield. <laughs> it was everywhere. All right, last target. These monsters are just hanging out here, these sick friends. Wait, 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 what are they doing? They're having a gang bang. What the <laughs> But Dude, no. They're using all these losers as body shields. A bunch of heroes. <laughs> All right, let's clear this cesspool up. On your mark. Get set. Oh. <laughs> Fire one ready. Ah! Ah! I don't even want to be here. My parents <laughs> made me sign up. Ah! All right, Rep Pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And again, shout out to Elite OP Knives. They're the ones that sent all this awesome stuff out. So make sure you guys go check them out in the links down below. I'll also put it as a pinned top comment if you guys don't see it. So make sure you guys go check them out. But check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last Epic Collection video where I showed my entire M48 collection and was barely able to complete it by getting the newest stuff that came out. So go check that out right there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.